Today, I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this wool overcoat. So, it's coming on winter weather, and when I've been shopping for new coats this year, I've been looking for a couple of different ones. I was wanting a coat for being outside, skiing, sledding, things like that. A really warm one for when the weather is just freezing and it's snowing. And I also wanted a dressier coat for um, times when I'm wearing dresses, going to church, more formal activities to have um, just a dressier coat to go along with it. And I really found that in this wool one. I'm really pleased with it. So it's a nice wool overcoat. Um, the material is a wool and polyester blend. And it's very soft on the outside and there's a lining on the inside here, as you can see. Um, so it's not the warmest coat ever, but it is an overcoat made for winter, so I have worn it out on a couple of occasions, and it's definitely kept me warm without being the warmest winter coat ever, um, but for your formal winter weather, it is definitely will keep you comfortable and warm uh, more than just a jacket there. So let's take a closer look at this. Now this one comes in two different colors. It comes in black and also this camel color, which I am wearing, which is a nice beige color. And I'm really pleased with the color there. I felt like it looked like it did in the product picture and I'm just pleased with the color of it. So um, this coat is more fitted. Let me just button one so you can see more here. So it's more fitted here in the sides and then flares out at the bottom and does have a pleated skirt. So it looks really adorable when you're wearing a dress that it just covers that area there. Um, and so the pleating, I would say you can see the pleats more in the back. Um, and I would say in the front, for me with mine, uh, the pleats are not um, very extremely defined. It looks kind of a little bit flatter than it did in the product picture. Uh, but there's definitely pleating happening. It's just not a very like super defined pleat, if that makes sense with that distinction there. So, um, so it flares out at the bottom. It's really nice how it opens up here. And I like the fitted area up top here and flaring out. Um, you've got the turn down collar and lapel section here, which just looks adorable with scarves, whether you want to have a scarf on the inside to keep your neck warm and kind of keep this area warm, or you want to wear your scarf on the outside just for kind of a fashion statement underneath those lapels. Um, it just works really well with any of that. You've got the on um, the collar here where it comes off and buttons off to the side. Um, and then you have the three button enclosure here to close it off. I'm going to give you a closer look at those buttons. So pretty nice buttons there. And then the uh, button loops are just reinforced with stitching around the edge there. Um, I'm not the hugest fan. I mean, I love the look of buttons, but to sit and like button it up, um, sometimes it's too lazy and I'll just do one button. But if you're going to be out for long periods of time, I will take the time to button up three buttons and it's not like it takes too long. I just want to be able to throw something on and head outside. Okay. So it's a dressy, warm winter overcoat. Um, now sizing, do look at their sizing with the product inf information there. As far as how it fits for me, it does go down below my knee. So I get good coverage and, you know, whole body coverage, which is nice because when you're wearing a dress or things like that, you're a little bit colder because you don't have the pants on, you've got pantyhose or whatever. Um, so I do like that whole body coverage and the nice look of it being long, you know, it looks like a long wool formal trench coat kind of look. Um, so I'm wearing a size small and I am 5'1", so I'm shorter, so it's probably longer on me than it will be on some people. I feel like the fit for me is really nice through here. It's nice and fitted. Um, fits nicely in the shoulders, no complaints there. I do feel like it is a little tight across the back. That when I bring my arms in front here, it's a little constricted um, that I don't get a full range of motion with this one. But it's not really in that shoulder area. It's just the length across the back. Um, but I'm still wearing it and comfortable. It's just for some activities that you might be doing um, that when I go like this, I can feel tightness in the upper arms and through the back. Um, but other than that, I think that it's a good fit. I think it is really cute and stylish and looks nice. Love the fitted look. So it's not just one of those coats that hangs straight down. Um, like I've got an old pea coat that's just straight down. It's more formal, but I love this fitted area with a flare. Um, it also features two pockets here. So you've got the nice covering over top and 
looks nice, but definitely hold your um, hands nicely in there to keep them warm. You can store gloves in there, your keys, your phone. So it's a nice sized pocket that you've got. So still functional, even though it's on a formal coat. And yeah, it's a cute flared fitted wool overcoat uh, for your more formal winter wear. And I'm definitely pleased with it. I'm so glad that I've got it for my winter wardrobe this season. So let me just give you a closer look. You can see these cute lapels in the front here, the side, and then just across the back. And I love that flared pleating there that you can see in the back. So that's been your closer look at this wool overcoat uh, to keep you nice and warm for winter, but to have something a little bit different for your more formal clothing.